Just uh, found another Craigslist freebie. Before I completely hack this thing and use it for parts, I thought it thought it'd be neat to make a oscilloscope out of it. I've seen all these DIY oscilloscopes on YouTube and other various sites, and uh, <clears throat> thought it'd be neat to try it myself. It doesn't look too complicated, so we'll see what happens. I shouldn't have to tell anyone, but uh, this is obviously dangerous because the television uses high voltage uh, to run the CRT. So um, if you take the back of a television off, do so at your own risk. Try not to touch anything. And if you don't know what you're doing, you probably shouldn't be doing it. This is the vertical and horizontal deflection coils. You can see them wrapped around the uh, CRT. And those are what take the uh, the electrons and basically uh, map them to the front of the screen. Um, there's a few wires coming off of it, which I know lead to the coils. They're awful dirty right now. There's a a red, yellow, blue, and a white. So we need to figure out which ones are the vertical deflection coil and um, we're going to try and give them a different signal and see what happens. I removed the deflection coils from the board and the uh, TV refuses to start. So uh, my next step would be to uh, attach a dummy coil. Um, maybe I can get away with a resistor as well to where the coils used to be attached to. I'm just basically wanting to figure out which coils attached to which wires so it appears to me that the two wires the two wires on this side is one coil and the two wires on that side is another coil which is logical but I had to confirm it so basically what I'm going to do now is attach um, probably a dummy coil to the bottoms of those uh, leads on the boards where this board is plugged in. Right there. And uh, then I can drive this using a, a voltage source and that should uh, make everything work. Alright, after a little bit of playing around with this I discovered that the red and blue wires are the horizontal deflector and the white and yellow wires are the vertical deflector so with just the red and blue plugged in I get a horizontal line across the screen and uh, of course the TV won't work unless I have uh, a dummy coil attached so I have a coil from a solenoid uh, that I had lying around it makes a makes a, a hissing noise but it it does work nonetheless so uh, from this step I'm gonna see what it takes to uh, as far as voltage to get this line to, on the television to go from the top to the bottom. I want to see the entire range of it. Alright, so uh, basically what I've done is uh, taken the wires for the vertical coil and ran them outside here onto this uh, little breadboard so I could do different things and see what happens. So, I think to start I'm going to just give it one and a half volts and see what happens. Alright, and it's a positive voltage there. And if I reverse it, it should drop down. Yeah. So that tells me we're onto something good here. And there you can see. Okay, so upon further reading, um, I've discovered that the horizontal deflection coil operates at some. Uh, um, like 15 kilohertz which you can hear right now in the background and that the uh, 
vertical vertical deflection coil operates at 60 hertz. So I'm getting a much uh, much more visible result now. Now that this is a I'm using the vertical instead of the horizontal. Now I tried to swap the two so the line would still go horizontal, but it would be driven by the uh, 60 hertz signal. But the TV didn't want to turn on at that point, so uh, I'm kind of stuck with this now until I come up with a solution. Also, the dummy coil that I placed on it, um, I think may be a little too large because I can hear it, and it's uh, it's rather annoying. I'm sure it's coming through on the video right now, but uh, this is what this is what we got at the moment. So, um, instead of the solenoid, I decided to hook up the primary leads of a transformer that I pulled out of a, uh, well, I don't really know what I pulled it out of. However, that seems to get rid of that awful noise. Um, I'd also like to note that the solenoid was... actually very warm. Not hot, but very warm. <clears throat> so, we'll just... Good morning, Your Honor. May I approach the bench? I stay up all night and I smoke and I drink.